All right, now we're back again, still with Learning Guide 11. And now we are going to talk about arc length. All right, so the arc length. Um, the result of how we get this formula, this handy dandy formula to calculate arc length or radius or theta, the angle in the center, it comes from this uh, relationship where we have the arc length and we have the angle at the circle and the circumference. So it just derives to that and then it comes down to this. Okay, so you're going to be using this, so make sure you understand it. So the thing is, this A, that's the arc length. So that's this red line right here. The R right here is the radius okay so that's the radius of a circle and the theta the theta is the angle at center okay and that angle big star here must be in radians okay so make sure it's in radians if it's not in radians convert it to radians okay so let's look at this formula so we have a equals r theta okay so what do we know in this first question well we know the radius and we know theta so let's plug those in so we don't know arc length so the radius is 9 and we're timesing that by 1.94 and if you get your calculator out and you type that, the arc length equals 17.46 centimeters. Okay. And this other one is the same formula. Okay, what do we know now in this one? Well, now we know the arc length is 12. We do not know the radius, but we know theta is 1.87. So now we are just going to divide by 1.87, divide by 1.87. And so we have the radius equals 6.42 meters. Okay. Topic two now, we're going to be looking at the unit circle, okay? And we talked about the unit circle in the previous learning guide. So you have to remember that the unit circle, it is, um, you're going one unit, and so we have a coordinate there. We're going one unit up, so we have that coordinate, and we're going one unit to the left, we've got that coordinate, and one unit down. Okay, so that's the unit circle. So this question, it says, determine the exact coordinate. So 3 pi. So where is 3 pi? Well, if we stand here, there is 1 pi. There's 2 pi's. There's 3 pi. So we're right here. So the coordinate for that one is negative 1, comma, 0. Okay, so this next one. So the next one, we have negative 3 pi over 2. So now we're going in the opposite direction. So we're going negative pi over 2, negative 2 pi over 2, negative 3 pi over 2. So now we're right here. So the coordinate for that one is 0, comma 1. All right, so let's look at using the exact, uh, using the unit circle, you want to find all of these all right so your calculator can do it all right um, and but I'm just going to go through things that I think is important so we are going to write down what's happening at each of these points these coordinates so this is one comma zero and then we just add another zero then okay this is O negative or point O one and then it's undefined. I'll 
get into that. This is negative 1, 0, and 0. And this is 0, negative 1, and undefined. What I'm putting in now is just one extra thing that helps us with tangent. So if I have alphabetically C, then followed by S, then followed by T. C, S, T. C, S, T. C, S, T. That's a good way to get to understand each of those um, coordinates that lie on the X and Y axis. So if I was doing cosine 0, I know cosine 0, because here's 0, and cosine's there, I look above it, and it's 1. If I go pi over 2, I know pi over 2 is up here, that's remember 90, and I'm looking for cosine, I look above it, it's 0. And over here is pi, so I know it's negative 1. Here's 3 pi over 2, so I know it's 0. And 2 pi is back to there, so it's 1. Now sine would be the next one beside it. So it would be 0. It would be 1, 0, 1, and 0. Now I'm just going to throw a tan in. I didn't put any tans here, but it's good to know tan because I put that extra one at the end. So say if I was doing tan of 0. Well, the tan of 0, if you look here, it's right there. It's 0. All right. Let's say we're doing tan, whoops, tan of, let's say, 3 pi over 2. Well, 3 pi over 2 is down here. Tan is there, so it's undefined. And the reason it's undefined is, remember, tan, tan is the opposite over the adjacent, which we can say is basically the rise over the run. Now, if we look down here at when tan, I'll draw this little guy, and we look right here, at that line this is the slope so if I said what is the slope of that you would have a rise of 1 and a run of 0 well anything divided by 0 is undefined so that's where those undefines come and that's why tan is, is, is a good one to understand slope okay now we're going to deal with the unit circle with um, coordinate. So here we have, um, we're going some distance to the right, and we're getting to about there, which we know is m, because that's our x, right? And then we're going up n, because that's our y. And the key thing in this whole question, you have to understand, is it's the unit circle. So I know this measurement to be 1, because it's 1 radius. Now, knowing I have this picture developed, I can answer these three questions, sin, cosine, and tangent. All right, because if I look at this picture, now theta is down here, I know that Remember, sine is O over H. The opposite, if I go straight across, is N, and the hypotenuse is 1. So there's the answer for the first one, N over 1. Or you can just say N. Cosine, remember, is the adjacent over the hypotenuse. So the adjacent is beside, so that's M over 1, or M. And tangent is the opposite over the adjacent. So the opposite is n over m. So there are our answers.